Hi guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome back or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, I'll be sharing new updates and my favorite features in GoodNote 6. Let's go ahead and see what's tea. The first thing you want to do is update GoodNotes. You can do this by heading to the App Store, clicking on GoodNote 6, and pressing Update. Customizing folders may be your new bestie if you have too many planners or notebooks inside of GoodNotes. You can now customize your folder by tapping on it and choosing the color that you like to use as well as different icons. It may not seem like a major update, but it's that girl when it comes to keeping your things organized in GoodNotes. The tape tool is next and she's my fave. You can toggle on straight tape, which will just keep it straight. You can create your own tape using any pattern that you'd like. You can also adjust and play around with the tape thickness. When you click on the plus, you'll see that you have the option to add a solid color, upload from your files, or customize a preset. If you choose to add a solid color, you just pick whatever color you want and it'll create the tape based off of what you chose. Uploading from your files allows you to create tape based on the file that you have chosen. I chose a photo from Pinterest, so that's an option too. The preset option allows you to create tape based on the preset patterns that GoodNotes already has within the tape tool. You're able to choose your colors and create your own custom tape. Tape is actually meant for studying, so you can cover up your answers and then test yourself. It's a cool way to make study sessions more fun and creative. And then you just tap on the tape to see if you got the answer correct. It's perfect for students. Personally, I love to use tape to decorate my digital planners. Next is stroke stabilization. You can turn this feature on by going into your pen settings and adjusting the stabilization slider. This feature is everything when it comes to smoothing out your handwriting. It makes it look neater and more precise. It definitely adds a more polished look to your handwriting. If you set your stabilization to 100%, your strokes will be super smooth. However, this is not the most natural feel. I would suggest playing around with it to see what you're feeling and what works best for you. You can also access this feature in the highlighter tool, which is pretty cool. This is perfect for those of us that do a lot of writing. Next is the pencil tool. So GoodNotes introduced the pencil tool and it's another one of my favorites because it legit feels like a real pencil. It will adjust based on the angle that you write. So if you write head on, it will show up as a thin line. And if you write on an angle, it'll shade just like a normal pencil. So the pencil is ideal for students and people who use GoodNotes as a sketchbook. You can also toggle on the draw and hold feature, which will snap the pencil to different shapes. Basically what this means, whatever shape that you draw, GoodNotes will automatically recognize it and snap it into a perfect shape. This could be useful if you're looking to create clean diagrams or just make your notes look neater. I'm not gonna hold y'all. This is one of the reasons why the pencil tool is one of my favorite new features. You can also change the color and customize your own color palette. You're able to adjust the pencil thickness as well. Personally, I've been using the pencil tool a lot more in my digital planners and journals to give it a natural pencil-like texture. And my bad guys, I should have used a darker color here. Smart Ink is up next. This feature is super convenient. It gives you a lot more flexibility when it comes to editing your handwritten notes. So before, if you wanted to change something that you wrote, you would have to erase it and rewrite it. But now, child, you can edit your handwritten text. All you do is select the text that you want to edit with the lasso tool, click on this icon, and it will allow you to edit like a text box. Sticky Notes is the next feature. Sticky Notes is a fun addition to GoodNotes 6. Now you can add these little stickies anywhere you want, just like you would on paper. Of course, you can make them in whatever color you desire. You can even create your own little sticky note color palette with all of your favorite colors. These come in three different shapes, square, wide, and tall, and three different sizes, small, medium, and large. You're also able to type or hand write on them. Sticky notes are literally perfect for journaling, digital planning, and overall organization without needing a separate sticky pad. If you're someone who uses GoodNotes for collaborating and sharing documents, you're not only able to add comments, but you can also share these sticky notes with other people. Sticky notes can really come in handy for both team collaborations or your personal organization. The Timekeeper tool is great to help you stay focused and to keep track of time. GoodNotes offers both a Pomodoro timer and a stopwatch. You can also create custom modes that will set the timer automatically. 
You also have the option to pause, end, or continue your session. To create a custom mode, tap new, give it a name, select an icon if you'd like, set a session duration, hit save, and then you'll see it under my modes. And finally, ask GoodNotes. So GoodNotes now has an AI-powered assistant feature to help you get more out of your notes. With this feature, you can summarize your notes, explain concepts more in depth, and even answer questions based on what you wrote. It's a really great tool for studying and it's almost like having a built-in assistant. Personally, I have used it to help me come up with different pages for my self-care planner. Since it is AI, it's always a good idea to double check the information and not rely on it entirely. Overall, Ask GoodNotes is a feature you'll find yourself using repeatedly to make your daily tasks that much easier. Y'all do not sleep on these updates. GoodNotes is coming with it for real. Let me know which feature you're most excited about in the comments and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.